today I'm going to clean up and reorganize my pantry. I do have a good organization system, but over time it gets messy and things don't get put back in the right place. The first thing I do is pull out all my bins. These are my overflow bins. So anything that doesn't fit in a container goes in here. So I'm just going through getting rid of old food and reorganizing, make sure everything's in the right spot, cleaning out the bins. My popcorn bin is in pretty bad shape, so I've got to just clean it up a bit, refill the kernels in the container. I absolutely love popcorn and we're always eating popcorn, so it's important that I have a whole bin to contain all my popcorn. And if you don't have this glass microwave popcorn um, popper, it's amazing. You have to get it. And then I realized I never actually labeled this bin, so I got my label maker out and did that pretty quickly. Now it's time to refill all the containers. Now it's time to reorganize my baking section. So you can see some of my containers are running low. I'm just gonna fill some of those up so that they're full again and ready to go. This is my cookie slash cake decorating bin with all the sprinkles and Christmas stuff. I'm just gonna pour it out, clean it up, put it back in and I realized I never labeled it. So got my label maker out, just making sure everything has a place and I know where it goes and the labels help with that. I love putting all my baking products in containers like my flour and sugar and anything that's left over that doesn't fit in the containers will go in this bin. It's kind of like my restock bin. So anytime I need to refill the containers, I just come here. Now it's time to put it back in the pantry and kind of set up my little baking area. Now that I've gone through all my bins and I've got rid of old food and I've refilled all the containers, I just kind of start going through and start organizing, moving stuff around. I also clean off the shelf and then just start putting everything back in its home. This was probably two hours into the project and this is what my kitchen looked like and I was so done. So it's normal to just want to quit halfway through. The current situation of my kitchen. I I just want to be this. I just want this done. Oh my gosh. I'm making dinner now in the mess. So just starting the dinner and we're just gonna cook dinner until I finish. I'm going to finish. I've put some Taylor Swift music on and pushed through. I just wanted this project to be over. So I was just putting things back, cleaned up the floor. I finished. I wanted to show you the before again and the after. Everything is reorganized. This is probably our most used space in the house. So it was really important that it was clean. There's a spot for everything. It just makes cleanup so much easier when you know where to put it and you know where to find it. So I have my baking section, my breakfast nook. I have these two baskets at the bottom for dirty rags and clean ones. I love having clear bins so that my kids can see what options there are for having snacks. And you can see the snack overflow bins right above. So anything that doesn't fit in the containers goes right there. It's a really good system. I linked all of these bins on the blog and you can find a link to the blog in the description below. I hope you enjoyed watching.